Hey guys, this is Rajesh and you are watching my YouTube channel Starting to Fly. In this video, I will be introducing you to the online development platform of MIT App Inventor 2. Uh, you are currently looking at the official website. It's quite informative, a lot of information required for beginners. You need to hit this uh, button, the create apps, to create an app. That will navigate you to the, this page. And if you are new, you said last for the Google account login. Anyway, we'll start with the start new project. Welcome. We need to click on welcome. Uh, this will uh, lead to the development uh, development interface here. There are two uh, phases for development. One is the designer phase and the blocks phase. Designer phase is the, the the way your skin looks and feels. What are the requirement you need to add from the like buttons and uh, the layout etc. And uh, and the block phase is something you have different blocks. The building block which you need to form a logical entity to your app to work okay let's get back to designer phase uh, in the designer uh, phase you have four blocks again that's like uh, the palette the viewer and components and properties uh, palette has has user interface the black buttons the data, uh, date picker label uh, etc and the layout the horizontal and vertical the media files media like players sound recorder social like phone calls and text messaging and storage like database etc and the viewer are uh, that which the uh, way the components are added and it adds the look and feel of the app uh, again as a whole this entire uh, component are divided into visible and non-visible visible component are the component which uh, which we can operate on like button a non-visible component which runs on a background like database where you can store and retrieve the data and the components are the uh, the block where you uh, when you add different entity from the palette to the screen it can be seen over here and the properties uh, are the, uh, of the elements that are added to the co components okay now let's build a small app for the uh, for the better idea of understanding how the entire thing process works okay uh, let's build a small app in which um, we will be click we will be hitting a button and that would play a media file for that we need a button and a player so we go to button we add to the screen okay and we go to the media for player you can see there is a non visible component and uh, there's a visible component which you can see on the screen uh, we will change the property of it, we will say welcome on welcome and we will extend the button for the entire screen ok uh, now we go to the blocks and you can see under the screen one there are two uh, uh, components such as a block button one and the player one as per our requirement we need to hit a button and the player start playing ok so when the button is clicked and we call the player one to start playing or when when the, the way three blocks are attached properly we will get a click not sound that means that everything has every uh, logical block has combined properly wait we have forgotten something we had we are clicking the button we are trying to click the button and the media player plays but we haven't added the file yet so we go back to the designer phase and we go to play you can see there's a property right so you need to add a, you need to add a media file over here upload go to file you can see uploading to a server you can even change the default volume i think the the basic app is ready and now it's testing phase on successful development of the app it's time for testing uh mit app inventory provides you many options for testing if you uh, hit on connect you get a drop down menu of uh, AI companion, emulator, and USB. Let's go come one by one. AI companion, uh, in which you need to install this app called MIT AI to companion on your Android smartphone. Uh, provided you have a Wi Fi or high speed co connection to your phone, it works perfect. I really recommend you to use this option if you have Wi Fi. And if you don't have a smartphone, you have to go for the emulator. Uh, but you need to uh, again install a software called AI Starter and if you have a smartphone and you don't have a connection to your phone you have to use USB um, in this again you have to install a software called AI Starter um, in this you connect your phone 
uh, in your phone to your PC, a PC uh, through USB connection and you need to uh, for emulator and USB you need to start the software called AI starter and if you don't want to st uh, uh, test you directly want to generate an APK file and install to your Android phone you need to hit this button where the QR is generated after scanning the software is ordered from cloud to your app and if you don't have interconnection in your phone you can uh, save the APK file on your computer later on you can save onto your Android smartphone for using it um, let's test on a smartphone by hitting on connect I will hit on the IA companion generate a QR code let's test this now um, you can see that I have an app called MIT AI2 companion I'll open that and I would like to sc scan the QR code which has been generated by MIT app inventor on the screen but during the testing phase or uh, it would scan and the code has been generated as X J K T E W. I would like to connect with the code and you can see the same uh, screen which I have designed on my phone so I would like to hit that button if I hit the button, some media file is played. That means my requirement has been met. Let's check it out. Welcome to App Inventor. Uh, by this, I can say that our app has been successfully worked out. So if you really liked it, I enjoyed it, please like and share. And if you have some concern, please comment on my video. Thank you so much.